because I'm waiting for my feet to touch the ground so I can jump back up. I swear to God, bro, it's like 30 seconds for my feet touch the ground. I'm like, what the? F like I'm deep in that water, deep, nigga, deep. I don't know how deep that water was, bro. It was scaring me though. So I didn't even really touch the bottom, bro. I touched the ledge that was close to the bottom because I was like on the side. I'm like, hell, no, I ain't gonna go to the bottom. I'm gonna drown. This is it. Like I'm gonna check out right now. Yo, what's going on, G Dot family? You know it's your boy G Dot back at it with another but 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 banging ass video today, man. I got a funny ass story time for y'all, but look, man, don't laugh at the nigga, okay? Don't laugh at the nigga. This is some real shit that happened, bro. I could have died, like for real, for real. Nigga could have died when this happened, man. So don't be laughing at me. Don't be making jokes. This is a serious topic. But before we get into that, you already know what to do, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Guapboy G Dot and Twitter at Guapboy G. That. All the links for all my social media are gonna be in the description below, including for my Twitch and my Patreon. Because you already know what's going on on Twitch, man. I'm whipping niggas' ass daily and everything. I'm talking about Madden, Call of Duty, Warzone, Apex, whatever you want to see a nigga catch a W in, bro. I'm catching W's and that shit daily. So go ahead and tune into your boy on Twitch if you want to catch some hot daily dubs. And also, don't forget to support me on Patreon if you want to learn how to make money in the stock market, the crypto market, how to start your own business, how to market your own business, how to get your credit right. And I'm dropping my videos on there a few days early before they drop on YouTube. So if you want to catch my videos a few days early and learn, how to make some money bro go ahead and hit that link in that description below but without further ado let's get straight into the video now look y'all before we even start the video no i don't know how to swim no cap i never learned how to swim bro i never cared actually i did try to learn how to swim when i was a little nigga and guess what happened i failed my swimming class bro and after that never tried again you feel what i'm saying that's when i hit thugging i'm tall enough to stand in the six feet without drowning but i don't go no deeper than six feet bro i don't fuck with six one six two i ain't that tall i'm six feet so I only fuck with the six feet, you feel what I'm saying? But look, I never really cared to learn how to swim, but it came to bite me in the ass this time, bro. But this story time takes place, I wanna say my sophomore year of high school, bro. You know, my sophomore year of high school, a nigga was thugging, but a nigga wasn't thugging. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I was halfway in, halfway out. So I was still a nice guy, but I wasn't all the way nice, cause I was learning, like, you can't really be nice to these niggas, can't be nice to these hoes, you gotta be you. And this is why I stopped caring about sports too much, cause I was like, man, fuck sports for real, for real. I wanna go get high, I wanna go talk to girls, I wanna be in the streets, not in the streets, but I wanna have fun like going outside and shit you feel what i'm saying but i wasn't in school when this happened bro it was the summertime you already know in the summertime i'm doing whatever i want to but this time i'm really still focused on sports a little bit so i'm playing football i'm going to track you feel what i'm saying because i was running summer track around that time but my cousin birthday was coming up y'all already know my cousin d i told the story time about him when i went to his last birthday party you feel what i'm saying when i got out with his sister best friend cap Shouldn't have did that, but the family forgave me. Everything was brushed over, you feel what I'm saying? Didn't have to worry about that no more. So we went to the next birthday party. And the next birthday party, you feel what I'm saying? We was going to go to Orlando. Now, we went to Orlando, I ain't going to lie. We didn't have a lot of stuff planned, but we were just happy to get out the state, bro, because we didn't have a lot of chances to travel like that, you feel what I'm saying? All my family knew was work. So when we didn't have to work and we took trips, bro, we lived it up. We did what we wanted to do. So when we went to Orlando, it was the middle of the summertime. I won't lie, it was like around July 1st, July 2nd, bro, and I ain't going to lie, it was hot. It was hot as hell in Orlando, but the flight to Orlando was nice, you feel what I'm saying? That was my first time in O'Hare Airport. If you've never been to Chicago, bro, you got Midway, you got O'Hare. Midway is way closer to the city, but O'Hare is a nicer airport. I'm not going to cap to you, okay? I'm a Midway boy. I'm a city boy. But Midway isn't that nice, bro, compared to O'Hare. That's where all the international flights come in at. That's where all the sports teams be traveling to. That's where all the nice suburbs and shit at, bro. So it was real nice in there, you feel what I'm saying? So I went to O'Hare, and after I went to O'Hare, we flew into goddamn Orlando. Now, when we flew into Orlando. This was my first time in the Orlando airport. That shit was nice. It was palm trees everywhere. You could see them. They had a nice little train that took you from where you landed all the way to your bags and stuff, bro. It was cool. And I liked the vibes when I got to Orlando. Like, everything was chill. But it gave me that country vibe, too, because it's a lot of highway, a lot of open road, everything far as hell. But I didn't mind because this is my first time out here. This is before I went to Miami. So, this is my first time in Florida for real, too. So, this is my first time seeing a palm tree face to face. So, I was fucking with the vibes. You feel me? So, after we get off the airport and everything, we get our bags. We go straight to the hotel. Now, we got a decent little hotel. Like, it ain't the rawest hotel, but we got a decent hotel. You feel what I'm saying? Got a pool in the back. Got room service. Got two rooms. You feel what I'm saying? For the boys and for the girls. Everything cool. We finna live it up. Now, here's where everything got fucked up at. We didn't have no plans. So since we didn't have no plans, we was really just staying in the hotel the whole time, bro. And that wasn't fun for me or D. But me and D was like, man, fuck that shit. We not finna stay in the hotel, especially not for his birthday. So we made some plans and one of his homies pulled up that he knew from college. And we ended up traveling. We went somewhere, right? Now when we went somewhere, guess where we went? To a water park. 
Cause where else we finna go in Orlando, bro? We ain't got money for no damn Disney World or Disneyland. We don't got no money to go around going to places and you feel me partying, going to bars. I ain't even old enough for that shit. They old enough, but I ain't old enough. So I'm gonna be a tag along ass nigga and I ain't trying to be no tag along ass nigga, bro. So we was like, man, we finna go to a water park. Now when we went to the water park, bro, I ain't gonna lie, it gave me good vibes, bro. Like I'm fucking with the vibes. I'm seeing some thotties, you feel what I'm saying? I'm liking the thotties I'm seeing. It's big as hell, bro. Like the water park. Big as hell. The wave pool was like 20 feet deep. I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't never seen no damn wave pool that's 20 feet deep, bro. Like 20 feet, no cap. And they got real waves coming like every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes. So I'm fucking with the vibes, you feel what I'm saying? So as soon as we get in there, instantly change real quick, put the goddamn swimming trunks on, put our stuff in the locker. Then we get going. Then we get going to the rides and going to the wave pool and stuff, right? Now, look, I almost died three times this day. Not once, not twice, but three times. No cap, word to moms. Almost died for real, for real. Now look, the first time where I almost died, I was in the wave pool and everything was smooth, everything was groovy, you feel what I'm saying? My first time going in the park, first time going in the wave pool. So I'm like, fuck it, man, I'm finna chill real quick, you feel what I'm saying? And you know, in the wave pool, everything starts to go deeper the farther you go in the wave pool. So I start off at one foot, then I go to two foot, three foot, four foot, five foot. Y'all already know, bro, I'm maxed out at six feet, right? So I'm right in between six feet and five feet. So I'm really like at five feet and five inches right now, bro, and I'm cooling, you feel you know what I'm saying? I'm just enjoying the vibes. Now it's crowded as hell before Corona, so you know people could be around each other. But it's crowded as hell. I ain't really trying to go too deep because I know I'm gonna drown. So while I'm cooling in the five feet and five inches zone, I get a kick in the back, bro. I swear to God, somebody kicked me in the back. Now to this day, I feel like it was my cousin and their friends. Cause how the fuck did someone just kick me in the back? Why would someone kick me in the back, bro? That don't make no sense for someone to kick me in the back. Like no random ass niggas finna kick me in the back, bro. That's bogus as hell if you did. Cause I almost died, bro. I almost drowned. I went to six feet, like six and a half feet, bro. Almost died, nigga. I almost met my maker that day. So I'm like, man, hold on. So I get kicked in the back. I start paddling a little bit, start panicking. But I make it out cause I'm still like tall enough to jump up and get back to five feet, right? So I jump up, get back to five feet. After I get back to five feet, I'm like, fuck that shit, y'all got me fucked up go back to four feet so i can get myself together and after i go back to four feet i'm like man i ain't fucking with the wave pool right now bro like too many people in here the waves is coming so everybody crashing into each other bro i ain't liking that niggas kicking me in the back and i still don't know who did it so i'm like fuck it bro we ain't finna do this no more let's go to the rides because they got a lot of rides around here so let's go see what's going on with the rides so after the wave pool we go to the rides bro. i ain't gonna lie the rides was cool bro like the rides was cool as hell I had no issue with the rides like they was fun it was a lot of slides it was a lot of girls around you feel what i'm saying i'm talking about them florida girls Girls, a different type of fine. No cap. I don't know if they was from Orlando, from Miami, from Tampa, from Jacksonville, from Daytona. I don't know where they was from, bro. But them hoes was fine, man. And if you've seen this video and I happen to see you back in the day when I was at the goddamn water park, I ain't ugly no more. I got some guala and I'm fleet. So come holla at your boy. Come holla at your mans. You feel what I'm saying? Come holla at your boy. Cause I'm just trying to, you feel me? I'm just trying to fuck with you. I ain't trying to do too much. I ain't trying to fuck with you. I'm trying to be a friend. You feel me? Yeah, that way. But after we go on a couple rides, bro, we go on this one ride. Now, I don't know what this ride is called, bro. I'm gonna try to look it up and put a picture in there for y'all, bro. But we go on this one ride. And while we stand in the line, like, I see people coming out this damn tube. And it's like they dropping them into water. So when they dropping them into water, I'm like, oh, that's raw as hell. That looks fun. You feel what I'm saying? The water must be like six feet deep, five feet deep. You feel what I'm saying? Not too deep because it's like his little kids going in that water. So it can't be too deep because y'all don't want to drown the little kids. Y'all don't want to hurt the little kids. So I'm like, man, it got to be like six feet deep, maybe seven feet deep, probably like five feet deep. You feel what I'm saying? It can't be that deep, right? So I go all the way to the top. I'm waiting in the line. I'm thinking shit's sweet. Now, when I get to the top of the line, I'm seeing them turn people away. I'm seeing people come down crying. I'm seeing people getting turned away like, hell no, I ain't doing that. I'm like, why y'all ain't doing that, bro? But I ain't thinking too much of it. I ain't putting two to two together. So when I get to the top of the line, I get to the slide, right? Now, when I get to the slide, I see some people go down, but I see them take the little kids, like the little, little kids. I see them take them and be like, hell no, nah, y'all can't go on this ride. So I'm like, why the fuck? Why can't they go on this ride, bro? Ain't this water not that deep? Like, it can't be that deep. Like, y'all ain't dropping nobody into no deep ass water, right? Wrong. So I go down the slide. When I go down the slide, it's a dark ass tube, bro. I can't see shit. I can't see nothing at all dark as hell so i'm going down this dark ass tube and while i'm going down this dark ass tube bro i'm low-key scared because i'm like bro what the hell are they finna do like they finna drop me in the water from here like what's going on so once i get out the tube you feel what i'm saying do a little loops do a little whoopty whoop you feel what i'm saying go out the tube now when i drop out the tube i go into a bowl now they drop me in this bowl and i ain't gonna lie bro it's like you know how the bowl spin you around and stuff and i just start sliding around in the bowl now i start sliding around the bowl i'm low-key blinded a little bit because they got water pouring on you they got water thrown at you bro because it's trying to recreate a thunderstorm so i'm like god damn what the hell going on bro i can't see i can't see nothing that's going on so my dumb ass i end up sliding around the bowl and i ended up going head first into the water you feel me i start 
started dropping out the bowl head first. So I drop out the water, bro. So I drop out, right? I go into the water. Now I close my eyes because you feel I don't want to open my eyes and get chlorine in my eyes. And I start holding my breath because I clearly don't want to drown. So I start holding my breath, I close my eyes, and I fall in the water. Now when I'm falling in the water, I'm free falling because I'm waiting for my feet to touch the ground so I can jump back up. I swear to God, bro, it's like 30 seconds for my feet touch the ground. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm deep in that water. Deep, nigga. Deep. I don't know how deep that water was, bro. It was scaring me, though. So I didn't even really touch the bottom, bro. I touched the ledge that was close to the bottom because I was, like, on the side. I'm like, hell no, I ain't finna go to the bottom. I'm finna drown. This is it. Like, I'm finna check out right now. So then when I touch the side of the bottom, I jump up. So I jump up with everything I got in my body, bro. I jump up with every ounce of energy, every ounce of muscle I had. I used it to jump up. So I jump up on one leg, on some Olympic shit, out the water. I must have jumped up like five, six feet out the water, bro. Now I jump up, I try to grab something, and I open my eyes to see what's going on, bro. It's dark as hell. All I hear is thunderstorm sounds, and it's like water being thrown at me, bro. So I can't even really see for real, for real. So I instantly try to grab something, but I can't grab nothing. So I go right back down. So I hold my breath again and close my eyes. When I go back down this time, bro, I make it to the bottom bottom. Now the bottom bottom, that shit was deep, deep, my nigga. And I thought I was gonna check out. Like I swear to God, I thought I was just gonna check out. Like I thought it was over with. Like it's over. It's over. I probably got one more jump in me, you feel me? That's all the rest of the energy I got. Cause I only ate one time that day. I'm still not that strong because I'm a sophomore in high school. Like, I'm still building my muscle up. So I'm like, bro, this might be it. I hope someone saved me. I hope someone see me. I hope I grab on or something. So I go to the bottom of the damn thing, right? I go to the bottom and I jump up one more time. This time when I jump up, bro, I still don't grab nothing. Still can't see nothing, and I think I'm finna go to the bottom and just drown. Like, I ain't prepared to go out like this, bro. I'm finna keep trying, but I'm like, man, I don't know if I can jump up again. So as soon as I'm finna go back to the bottom, bro, one of the lifeguards come swooping in and save my ass. He come in and save me. Now, when he saved me, he bring me to the side. You feel what I'm saying? He bring me outside, and he sit me down. So when he sit me down, I'm sitting there contemplating my whole life. Like, nigga, did I almost just die at a water park? Like, is this shit worth it? Is this crazy? I'm thinking, like, am I a bitch? Like, did I almost just die, like, on some whole ass shit, bro? Like, this can't be this serious, bro. Like, hell no. Nah. Then I see one of the friends my homie Diaz brought. This nigga, like, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and can swim. Like, he can real life swim. So I see this nigga, and this nigga looking like he traumatized after he get out that motherfucker. Like, he looking worse than I am. So I say, shit, I guess, like, you feel me? We not no hoes. This is just how it is. Like, this ride is not meant for motherfuckers that can't swim for real, bro. If you not no lifeguard or nothing, wouldn't recommend going on that ride. Like, seriously, wouldn't recommend it. But after we get out that ride, bro, we instantly go back to the wave pool, because we ready to go at this time. Bro, I almost round, he almost round, D almost round. So I'm like, man, fuck that shit. We finna go back to the wave pool and kick it for a minute. So this time when I go back to the wave pool, I put my whole life vest on. I put a life vest on and I'm cooling. I'm like, man, I'm finna go to the 20 feet side. Cause like, man, I got a life vest. I can kick it. So I go to the 20 feet side. I'm cooling. I'm relaxing. Got the life vest on. I'm really just chilling. But out of nowhere, I hear the little siren for the wave pool. So I hear a little siren for the wave pool. Ain't gonna cap. I was cool at first. And then I started panicking a little bit because the waves started coming out. You know how they come out soft at first, then it started coming out hard. I was cool when it started coming out soft. Then it started coming out a little harder. I started panicking a little bit. I started going underwater with the life vest on. How the fuck am I going to drown with the life vest on? How that work? How the fuck that work, bro? So I started going underwater a little bit, bro. I started panicking a little bit. I'm paddling. I'm looking like I'm finna die for real, for real. I'm looking damn near worse than I was the second time I almost drowned. But this time there's lifeguards on both sides of the pool, so they dive in and get me, bro. Ain't gonna lie, it was a little embarrassed. There was a lot of bad hoes around that saw that shit. I'm talking about grown hoes, hoes my age college hoes, MILFs. Man, I'm telling you, they was all out there, bro. And they all saw me almost drown, bro. And I don't know how many times people see me almost drown, bro, because I almost drowned three times. So I don't know how many times they seen me, bro, but I was blue. And around that time, bro, I was done. I'm ready to go. I don't want to go on no more slides. I don't want to go in this damn wave pool no more. Take me to the hotel and let's go home. And at that time, bro, my cousin then was ready to go because they like, man, fuck this shit. This nigga almost died like three times, bro. We got to go. We got our shit. Got the fuck up out of there. Now, let me tell you something, bro. If you don't know how to swim for real, bro, don't be capping at these water parks, bro. Make sure the ride ain't tweaking with you. Make sure the water ain't too deep when you go off the slide. Make sure you don't go to the end of the wave pool, bro. Because I was fortunate. I got very lucky that these niggas even saved my ass two times. First time I saved myself, the other two times they saved me, bro. You might not get that lucky, bro. So learn how to swim, bro, because I ain't gonna lie. You need to learn how to swim because most of the world is water, bro. Like 95% of the world is water or some crazy shit. So you gotta learn how to swim, my nigga. And you don't want to go out like I did in front of the bad hoes, bro. Don't almost drown in front of the bad hoes.
But that's the end of the video though, G Dot family. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Guapboy G Dot and Twitter at Guapboy G Dot. All the links for all my social media are gonna be in the description below, including for my Twitch and my Patreon. So go ahead and check those out. But without further ado, we out.